Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and there's a new mug release over at Trader Sam's, a new holiday mug release. So I wanna head over to the Disneyland Hotel, get some holiday cocktails, get that mug. And then also I might wanna get some food over at Disneyland, get some holiday treats, and maybe also look at a little bit of merch. But I don't know, it's gonna be a fun little holiday day. So come along with me, let's hang out and let's go inside of Disneyland. So we are gonna head over to the Disneyland Hotel because that is the biggest priority for today, but we are not gonna do it quite yet. I actually wanna head inside of Disneyland. I think I wanna get some food first and then, I don't know, walk around a little bit. But yes, it's gonna be a fun holiday day. I have my holiday ears on. I love these ears. I got them last year. They actually also come in a silver colorway, which I am very much so debating, should I get them on Mercari or not? Even though these are some of the tightest headbands I own, this one. So I'm assuming that one is gonna be just as tight. We shall see. And ooh, also, I just want to say, I ran into a cast member friend and he was with his dad and he told me that it's the first time he's brought his dad here in a really, really long time. And I don't know, that just like warmed my heart so much. I was so excited for them. I was like, have the best day, please. I'm, I'm so excited for them. I hope they're having the best day right now. But anyway, let's go get food. Let's go inside of Disneyland. Maybe we shall see a character or something. I don't know, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, there's a seagull on the run. Do you see him? Wait, okay, he's flying real low right now. Kind of midway up. There he is. What do you think he's trying to get? I don't know. Sometimes you do see some seagulls wandering around the Esplanade, and I'm like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for some popcorn, perhaps? But, you know, the ocean is far away, so maybe you should head that way with your seagull friends. Anyway, okay, let's go inside. It's a beautiful day today, by the way. Beautiful. Beautiful snowflakes. Do we like the snowflakes or do we like the pumpkins? I think the pumpkins are kind of a clear winner, but you know something I was just thinking as I saw everybody walking in is that I love the holidays and Halloween and like special days, like the first day of the Disney 100 because everyone gets dressed up in all of their say like Christmas colors and Christmas stuff and it just makes me so excited. It makes it feel like we are all in on it. But anyway, inside we go. Kind of wish the lights were on. Wish it was nighttime so we could see all the snowflakes sparkle. Isn't this a beautiful sight? We have the Christmas balloons, a perfect blue sky, and then we have the holiday castle. It looks so cute, although it's kind of warm and, you know, the snow feels a little bit out of place, but that's typical for Southern California. And then the balloons are the holiday versions. Let's see, I love the icy blue, although, Hmm, there's some stray oogie boogies in there. Can you see? There they are. They're looking a little bit out of place. You can't really fully tell they're oogie boogie, but just know that they are. But yes, a beautiful, beautiful Christmas view. I did say that I wanted food and that is 100% true. I want like real food, but I also kind of want a holiday treat. And you know, right when you walk into Disneyland, maybe you want a sweet treat. That's usually my vibe and it's also kind of warm. So I'm thinking a holiday Dole Whip. Why not, right? There is a Christmas Dole Whip just around for the holidays. So let's get it. It's like the perfect weather for it. I feel happy as a clam right now. I feel totally content, mainly just because, you know when sometimes like the area that you're in at Disneyland just totally matches the mood and what you're craving? Well, okay, Tropical Hideaway is doing it for me right now, just hearing like the monkeys and the birds and the water. I just saw some ducks too, which was very, very pleasant. And yeah, all the tiki torches too, I love that. But I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this little Dole Whip. It sounds so good because yeah, like I said, it's kind of warm right now. So this is the Christmas Dole Whip. It's strawberry and lime and they swirl it together. They put a really cute little gummy butterfly on top, which we love. But even more so, there's Christmas sprinkles. I love sprinkles. Like, I love, love, love sprinkles. I think they're just fun, you know? They're festive. They're a little bit crunchy sometimes. And they add a little bit of sweetness because they just taste like straight up sugar. But anyway, let's see. I mainly got the lime in that taste. And it's getting really melted, which I love. I love when Dole Whip melts. So let's give it a taste. Oh wait, that is pretty tasty, but I do not give it a 10 out of 10. Mainly just because, I don't know, there's something about the lime flavor here that's a little bit powdery and a little bit odd, but the strawberry flavor is fantastic. The strawberry side is really, really good. And plus it has festive little sprinkles and it kind of looks like a Christmas tree that's topped with a little tiny butterfly. 
Oh, he gets extra points, but also... what time it is when a hippo gets onto your boat? I don't know. Time to buy a new boat! Yes. Okay, Rosita is right over there. I really love getting the table that's like right next to Rosita, and I will show you her in a moment because she does have a tiny hat. She's not wearing it, but it's right next to her, and that's why we love her. But yeah, I didn't get the table right next to her, sadly, but we can still hear her. Yesterday, I saw a blue bird. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I quickly cheered him up. We were able to swoop in and get the perfect spot, and I don't know, let's see, can we see her? We can see her little umbrella. There she is. It's Rosita. Let's see, will she say something for us? She's not a monkey. She will not dance on command, unfortunately. But yay, this is the perfect place. Also, the Jungle Cruise little boats are going by, and the music, and the tiki torches. This is kind of perfect, and our little... It's kind of gross now because the two colors mixed together and made a gray-brown. But anyway, very tasty. You know what that would have benefited from, the little sundae? Like, a raspberry drizzle, you know? I would have liked that, but anyway. A perfect little afternoon. Come on, Rosita, say something. Okay, I will say, that is one of the favorite things, my favorite things, that she does. She just squawks, and it's intense. This is the best view ever. You get to see Rosita, and then look, we have some jungle cruise boats right over there, but I just wanted to point out the tiny hat. I am obsessed with tiny hats, especially when they come on Mickey ears. But look, Rosita has her own very tiny hat, and we love that for her. Oh, hello! You look marvelous! I adore the Disneyland Hotel so, so much. If you watch any of my videos, then you just know that I am the biggest fan of the Disneyland Hotel. Also, I'm a big fan of many other things, including Nuimos. What else? That's like the number one thing that comes to mind. Donald Duck, also. But yes, Disneyland Hotel, Nuimos, Donald Duck, all of the best things about Disneyland. But the Disneyland Hotel is always so magical to me. And this time of year, oh my goodness, it is extra magical. Look behind me. You can see a little peek of what is to come. There are so many magical, white, frosty, decorated trees in various colors, and I love them. But let's take a closer peek. Also, there's a giant rug. Let me show you, it's amazing. <laughs> Just take a look at this carpet. How beautiful is it? Well, okay, maybe minus that one spot, you know what I mean? So like, just ignore that. Let's cover that up. Look at how beautiful it is. It's really giving Matterhorn with these decorated letters. So gorgeous. And then also look, there's like little, mm, there it is, ice skates, pretty snowflakes, and I love the colors. Oh my gosh, it's definitely giving vintage, which is one of the reasons why I like the Disneyland Hotel so much in the first place. But oh my goodness, okay, it's not just the rug. Okay, ignore it, like I said, ignore the spot. It is not there. But, okay, I'm gonna show you this right here. Oh my gosh, you can see it right now, it's beautiful. Oh wait, also before we walk in, I forgot to introduce you to the beautiful frosty Christmas trees. Look at how pretty these are. They come in various beautiful colors and they glow and they glisten and they look better in person. Let me just tell you, you should experience this in person. Also, look at the wall decals, like on the all the windows and stuff. But look, you can see more frosty trees that way. And then all the way inside, you can see them inside of the lobby and inside. It's just, it's beautiful. So anyway, let me show you this too. We walk inside and you see the beautiful mural. I was going to say wall decal and I was like, mural, I suppose. But yes, look at the gorgeous castle. I love the vintage illustration of it and the frosted snow caps on the turrets and the beautiful Disneyland Hotel logo. This is so pretty. This is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, and look, you can see all the trees right over there. This is beautiful. I just, I'm telling you, I love the Disneyland Hotel. This gives me another reason to love it. This is kind of a small, silly detail, but I just noticed it and I thought I would point it out to you, but see all the line work? Oh, it's an automatic door. I shouldn't have been right here. I'm also like setting it off. But anyway, yes, the line work, the detail, it has texturing to it. So it's giving it kind of like a crunchy snow feel. Don't you think it feels crispy? It feels snow-like, even on the little tiny sparkles. I love it. So cute. One thing that I think is worth noting is the return of the gumdrop tree forest. At least that's what I call it. I think these trees are so magical and the little leaves look like gumdrops. You could almost imagine taking it off and they would taste like candy. 
or so I would hope. And it is daylight, so we're not getting the best view of them. But see, they're all around outside the Disneyland Hotel. And if you happen to get lower, you know, like child size, perhaps, it feels like you are a troll inside of a magical gumdrop forest. Maybe kind of, not really, but kind of. I mean, you really don't have to get down to child height to enjoy them in a childlike way. You can actually just sit on the furniture. <laughs> they actually have really cute furniture out here if you're waiting for your car to get valeted, or if you are like me and just a troll that likes to hang out at the Disneyland Hotel, then you can just sit here and relax and enjoy yourself also amongst the gumdrop lollipop-like trees. <laughs> The entire reason why we even came to the Disneyland Hotel is because I really wanted to get that Trader Sam's special tiki mug. So I gotta get on that wait list and I'm actually gonna get on the wait list in person, go up to the hostess because if you do it on the app, which you can easily do it on, on the app and I should actually have checked how long the wait is. I didn't do that. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna do it with the hostess because I wanna be able to sit outside, even though there is a bit of a bluster. In fact, I feel like my hair is feeling blustered. It's looking real, you know, windswept, perhaps. But anyway, let's get on this list because I really have no idea how long the wait is gonna be. Wow, okay, that was a lot faster than I thought. I got seated immediately. Maybe it's just because I'm a party of one, but I also saw a party of three get seated right before me very, very quickly. But anyway, I just wanted to say, in case you're wondering, yes, you can go on the mobile wait list or you can walk up to the host right in the front of Trader Sam's. And it's, I would say on the weekends, it gets very, 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 very crowded. So just beware, the wait times can, uh, in fact, the wait list can sometimes get full. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let me show you the drink that I want to get because, well, the drink and more specifically the mug. Yay, okay, so I have my menus. And first off, let me just say the Trader Sam's drink menu is so cute and colorful and I love it. I'm officially a tiki drink enthusiast. I just don't know that much about tiki drinks really, but I am an enthusiast, not quite number one fan yet, yet. But anyway, this is the drink menu. They also have food here at Tangaroa Terrace, which is right next door. They serve the same items. Some of the items are pretty good. Some of the items are really terrible. I will warn you, don't get the Rongo salad. It's the only vegan option on the menu and it's really not that great. But anyway, yeah, the long beans, panko crested long beans are pretty great. I will probably get something to eat. Also, the other thing I was gonna say is that you can either sit inside or outside, like I said. I am sitting outside, it's pretty wonderful. And then you can also sit inside, which is right over here that we're, that person just came out of, the magical doors. But okay, we are not here for the regular things, we are here for special things. Look at this. These are the holiday drinks and I'm so excited. So we can get the citrus apple spot. Well, I said we can. We are definitely gonna get that because that is the one that comes in the mug. They also have by the fireside and the nice list. These drinks are so cute looking. They all sound so tasty. I feel like tiki drinks are the tastiest drinks. But anyway, we are definitely gonna get that one because I want the little mug. I think something really exciting is happening at the table down for me because, well, first off, I feel like a fake tiki enthusiast now because I see that they ordered a ton of tiki drinks with a ton of tiki mugs. Like, they have a verified tiki haul, and I now realize that I'm an imposter, and those are the real tiki people. I want to be like them. I have an immensely important update, which is that I got the drink. I am so excited. It did not come served in the mug, which I'm going to show you in a second, but yay, the drink is here. Also, I did get a children's cheeseburger, which I have been nibbling on, but more importantly, the cocktail. Okay, so this is the Citrus Apple Splash, and it's Crown Royal Apple, Sue's Gentian, Ginger Syrup, Lime Juice, and Falernum. Fa fa oh my gosh, I always have so much trouble saying that. Falernum. Fair, oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it again. Anyway, yay. Usually I do not like the word that I cannot pronounce, that ingredient, because it kind of tastes like spicy, earthy, clove-like, but I am still intrigued by this because the Crown Royal Apple is calling my name. The only thing, okay, let me show you. Look, yes, okay, so they package it up in a box and they give it to you to go, but I was obviously too antsy, too impatient. I needed to unwrap 
the little Trader Sam's mug. So let me show this to you. It does have a kind of a scratchy matte finish, which is not my favorite, but this is too cute. Look, we have some snow. Oh, it is that time when they turn the lights on. How fortuitous for us, because I was gonna show this to you somewhat in the dark, but anyway, candy canes, ornaments, a steering wheel for this ship, because yes, this is a rum barrel. Does that make sense for a steering ship thing for to be what I don't anyway yes stockings ribbon all hung up with care and it is so so cute the inside is glazed with a glossy finish and at the bottom it should say yes Trader Sam's Enchanted Tea Bar Holiday Edition 2023 how fun is this I really really love this but let's go ahead and taste the drink it looks really really nice let's go ahead and give this a taste <laughs> Ooh, ooh, very unique. Okay, you can definitely taste the apple. It's very tart. And then when you mix it with the ginger, it gives it that earthy flavor. And then the ingredient that shall not be named, mainly just because I can't pronounce it, phalernum. Phal mm. I'm not gonna do it again. Anyway, it, okay, so that flavor is a really nutty, spicy flavor. Like to me, it really tastes like clove. And sometimes it can go amiss and sometimes it can be pretty all right. It's not really significant in this drink. So I actually really enjoy it. It's mainly the tart, crisp apple and then that earthy, spicy ginger flavor, but it's not quite spicy. Pretty nice. I'm actually into this. Also, it is very liquor forward. So if you are not in the mood to have a very like spirit forward drink, well, don't get a tinky drink because I think that's really what a tiki drink is all about. But anyway, I love this. This is so cute. And plus the mug and my tiny kid's cheeseburger. This is a perfect day on the patio of Trader Sam's. <laughs> I have packed this sweet little baby back up with care, just like the stockings, hung up with so much care, but yes. Mm, go down. Mm, there, ooh, kind of snapped right in place, but yes, I am so excited. I have one of the very first holiday tiki mugs from Trader Sam's. I didn't even notice that they put a bunch of swizzle sticks in here. Swizzle sticks, both long and short, for various types of tiki drinks, and also some Trader Sam's coasters. They gave me a bunch. Wow, okay, Trader Sam's is amazing. The surface here is impeccable. Oh, look, the other side says Tangaro Terrace. So look, I can truly become a tiki enthusiast. At home now with swizzle sticks, my own very tiki mug. I'm very excited about this. Wait, I still have more drink to finish. I can't say that it's done quite yet. Like one more, two si oh, like a lot more sips actually. But I also wanted to say, look at the straw, look at my ears, look at the little cranberries in there. I feel so festive, so Christmassy. I want to come back and get the other holiday drinks. I feel like that would be fun. Also, I can show you some of the good things to get from Trader Sam's and some of the bad things to get for food because some of the things are great, some of the things are not so great. walking past Marceline's and they were making the candy apples and it looked so so nice so I decided to come inside and everything inside also looks so nice I don't know it feels extra <laughs> nice and candy like also maybe it's just because it's not that busy which is kind of rare for Marceline's especially at night if you come at night it is packed but anyway I I feel like maybe I should get a little treat I'm inspired by all of the candy everywhere it just looks so nice and Christmassy. Actually, wait, the Christmas display is adorable. Let me show you. <laughs> There's just something about the cotton candy pink that is so cute and then the mint green and I just like the vintage flare flair that all the characters have this year. But yeah, something is so adorable about this display. Also, the advent calendar. <gasps> wait, okay, by the time this video comes out, it's gonna be into December, but it's not quite December yet and so maybe I should get this. Somebody did tell me that the chocolate was better than what I was thinking it was. I thought it was going to be terrible quality chocolate, but it looks so cute. And then also, this is something else that I really want. Look at the tin, so cute. And it comes with peppermint bark. But anyway, I came here for actual Marceline's treats. Not this kind of stuff, but we're going to get something. I just don't know what it's going to be yet. Is it just because I get to glance at all of the displays in somewhat peace and quiet because it's not as chaotic in here that I'm enjoying it so much more? 
And I'm also just like noticing things that I've never noticed before. Like, look at this. Okay, well, first off, I should say they have adorable Mickey shortbread from the Walker's brand. You know, those buttery, buttery cookies. But then over here, I tried to grab it, but then I realized it was going to be too much of a task. Oh, no. Wow, look at my cat-like reflexes. But, okay, look. This is so much fun. It's a tin, and it's a bus. It's a double-decker bus. That is so cute. I, I love this. I just want the tin, really, though. But, I mean, no, that's not true. I would also eat the cookies, gladly. I had to take it off the shelf, and look at how adorable it is. It's a lot slimmer than what I was thinking, but also, it makes sense. These would be the proportions of a double-decker cookie tin bus, right? But yeah, it has Mickey-shaped shortbread. This is adorable, and I checked the price. It is $30. And then the other thing, the shortbread comes in plain, but it also comes in chocolate chip. I don't know, if you got this one, you might have to get that one too. We are not getting distracted by the cookie bus. I still need to decide what to get, and everything is so Christmassy in the window. It looks so cute. I want everything, but I can't because I can't fit it in my backpack. Anyway, look at how Christmassy everything looks. Actually, that didn't look so Christmassy, but look. When I move the camera around, everything looks so Christmassy. That little Christmas Rice Krispie Treat is really good, but it's kind of plain. It's just Rice Krispie Treat, but it's adorable. And so is the Mickey Gingerbread one, although they do not sell Mickey Gingerbread here at any other confectionaries, including Marceline's. But yes, adorable apples. And okay, this thing is the best thing in the world. It's a marshmallow wand, three marshmallows covered in caramel, then chocolate, and then candy cane. I am obsessed with it. And then looks like a little peppermint cookie, a seasonal, it says seasonal brownie. I'm gonna guess peppermint brownie. Delicious, ooh, and a peppermint patty. I think this is new and I've never had it. Of course, I had to get the peppermint patty. It was too good to say no to, especially, okay, I'm not like the biggest peppermint patty fan. It's just that everything at Marceline's is amazing. It always looks incredible. And this is new for this year. I asked the cast member and they're like, yep, new for this year. So it is dark chocolate and peppermint on the inside. I don't know what I would call it, peppermint cream maybe? It was kind of hard when I snapped it in half, so I don't know if I would call it peppermint cream, but yeah, let's give it a little bite. That is pretty tasty, and it's just really nice. The dark chocolate specifically really sets it off, like wow. The dark chocolate also had a nice snap to it when I bit into it, and all around really nice, really minty. It is like an elevated York peppermint patty, like elevated by a lot honestly. But I also got something else pepperminty. Actually, okay, listen. I got two things pepperminty. So let me show you. First off, I got the marshmallow wand because I love them. I am obsessed with them. I love them. And then the second thing I got, let me show you. So this is the peppermint brownie. And I have had this in the past. I just don't remember being necessarily like, wow, it is a must-have thing. But I couldn't pass it up because it did look really, really good. And I love peppermint. I love candy canes. So I have the perfect little bite. Let's taste it. Wait a minute, what? That is amazing. That is delectable, that is delicious, that is so good. First off, it is really soft and really fudgy and it is I, just the nicest, softest texture. Like, I love soft treats, like soft cookies, sign me up. Crispy cookies, sometimes, sure, but soft things. This one is delightful and then my favorite part, there's actually white chocolate in the batter. So you get a little bit of that crunch and then you also get a little bit of peppermint flavor, but it's really not overwhelming, like not overwhelming at all. It's mainly white chocolate and brownie. <gasps> okay, I love that thing. I will, I will be devouring it for sure. Behold, my wonderful peppermint bounty. Does this make me an official peppermint person? Because I just love peppermint when it comes to the holidays. <gasps> we still haven't gotten peppermint ice cream at Disneyland. That is a tradition for me. It is the best peppermint ice cream you'll ever have. It is so good. But yay, an official peppermint person. That marshmallow one, my favorite thing. Although that brownie is giving it a run for its money. And the peppermint patty, would I get it again? Maybe not. I don't know, but yay. I, I think I'm an official peppermint person. Maybe like peppermint patty from the peanuts? Actually, no, I would 100% not be peppermint patty only because first off, I love the peanuts. I watch all of the specials. I love the Thanksgiving one. Just watch that one. The Christmas one, definitely. We'll watch more than once, but um, I would not be peppermint patty because I don't like her. She is rude and inconsiderate and I just don't care for her and all of her questions. Does she ask a lot of questions? I don't know, but either way, I would not be her. She and I would not be friends in real life. But yes, I do cheat on Disney sometimes because I love the peanuts. I just love them. They're so Snoopy. I love Snoopy. <laughs> All 
I just came inside of World of Disney just because I feel like it's been a really long time since I've been here, even though it probably has not been. But anyway, let me show you this. Look, it is a giant Winnie the Pooh pillow. And I love Winnie the Pooh so much. And this pillow is really, really big. This would be so nice on a bed. Unfortunately, this is not gonna match my decor. So he's not coming home with me, but look at his precious, very characteristic Winnie the Pooh ears. And he's just nice and plain. And you know, there's not a lot going on with him other than the giant Winnie the Pooh face, but that's really all you need in life. Yeah, nothing on the back, but look at his nose. Let's boop him. There you go. I booped him back into his place. Okay, $45 for him. Very sweet. This is immensely silly, and I truly enjoy it. Look, we were just talking about characteristic Winnie the Pooh ears. Well, look what we have here. An alarm clock with his characteristic tubby cheeks and tubby little face. I think this is so cute. You can hear the bells. So yes, it's a functioning alarm clock, you know? These things are usually insanely loud. If you have a problem waking up, I think this thing is probably gonna do the job. It's gonna wake you up. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh. Well, that was shocking. I like that somebody just left a pleasant little surprise for us, just at the right moment. Um, okay, let's see, how much is this alarm clock? It is $39.99, how fun, and yes, it would definitely wake you up. That, that was very loud. I am seriously the biggest New Emo fan. Like, if there was a fan club, an official fan club for New Emos, I would be president, okay? Maybe it would be a competition, but seriously, I would be one of the top runners. But I just wanna say that the new emo display at World of Disney is incredible because first off, look at this holiday display. We have Jack, we have little Yoda. He looks so cute, button nose, love it, Stitch. But then the best part, look at Ahsoka. She is using the force to get the lid off of the cookie jar. This is amazing, but then not just this. Look at this one down here. We have Belle and they even use props. We have the rose. It has a little pedestal. And then over here we have Mrs. Potts and we have Chip. And then, I don't know, let's see if it'll cycle through something cute. Sometimes there's some really cute images on this. I just, I'm telling you, I am the number one New Emos fan. I love them. We have a new spirit jersey and a spirit jersey that looks like a blanket in a good way. But yes, it has it blocked off on the bottom half and it is this super fleecy material. Oh my gosh, it is so soft. And it's like a landscape like printed across with the castle and with fireworks. And is it fleecy on the inside? Oh my gosh, yes it is. This will be so cozy to wear when it gets cold. Okay, let's flip it around and see the back. I really like the black and white colorway too. Okay, and then it says Disneyland across the back because of course it does. It's a spirit jersey. Oh my gosh, I can't stop touching it. It is so soft. Let's see if it actually has a price though. <gasps> it does, gasp. Okay, it's $99.99. Typically spirit jerseys don't have the price on them, which means they're usually like $80. But yes, this one is $99.99. This collection is new. Well, okay, minus the ears. Don't mind the ears, just ignore them. But this entire collection is new and it's so 90s, isn't it? It's so like Disney afternoon. So DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, you know, all the good stuff. Ooh, gummy bears. But let's see, let's look at this one. Okay, so this is a long sleeve shirt. It looks like it's probably unisex because the extra small is really, really big. And the material is relatively thin, but a nice kind of, has actually a nice feel. And it feels like it has a little bit a teensy tiny bit of stretch to it and it looks like it's $45 and I do kind of like the bleach stains. It kind of gives it a whimsical feel, very fun, irreverent, and it says all about the Disney parks life. I like the orange and the purple too. It's kind of, it's an interesting look, right? And then this is, ooh, I like this hoodie, the pullover, the color blocking. Oh, it's very plush and it feels pretty fleecy on the inside. And it says Disneyland on this one arm. And I just love the colors. The colors on this are really fun. And then at the chest, it has some embroidery. I like that they used embroidery for the D and for the, uh, for the castle, very nice. Oh, and then it has a banded bottom. So it's not like it has pockets on the side. Yeah, it has pockets on the side, but it's banded. Ooh, I feel like the cut of this is really fun. And then the back is totally plain. Let's see, what is the price on this one? I kind of like this one. Okay, $55, very fun. The last time I was here, I decided that I was the star's biggest fan, and I think all of the merchandise is the cutest from the movie Wish. I mean, look at him. I didn't even notice this. It is an LED nightlight. Oh my gosh. Look at him, he is winking and waving at you. I want this for my room. Okay, $29.99 for this, but the reason why I even turned the camera on was because of this. Oh my gosh, this is so silly. 
and so amusing and I am obsessed with it. I am absolutely obsessed with the star hat. It is so cute. I need this. Okay, let's see. Oh no, it's youth. Okay, it's $24.99. Dang, so they have an adult version? I love this hat. But then also, okay, I really like that, but then I also wanted to show you this. I am obsessed with this. It is a plush backpack. I love stuffed animal backpacks. Like, I'm obsessed with them. The only reason why I get, you know, I never really use them. Well, first off, they get dirty, but also the pockets are usually really small. This one looks decent, and he's so plush. Look at him. It's like you could just hug him all day long. Let's see, how much is he? I, I just love him so much. Okay, let's see. $39.99. Oh, no, the tag says it's a youth. Okay, hmm. Well, the straps do look kind of small, but still, could you imagine me with my Wish backpack, with my Wish hat? I would be so happy with my Wish lamp right by my bed. Something child-sized is absolutely not going to stop me from trying things on and or wearing them. I mean, look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but I did get it on. Oh my goodness. And the straps actually are pretty long when you extend them. Okay, I really don't know if you can see that, but so cute. And then I tried to find an adult version. There is none. So maybe at least not in this area of the store, but we are going to try it on anyway, because why not, right? I can swing a kid's backpack. I don't know if I can swing a kid's hat. So let's see. Oh, these tags are so long. Oh, no, 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 no. I do have a small head, but not this small. I feel like Pikachu or something. Just going to school. See you guys later. Bye. So that is gonna do it for our little holiday day here today. And quite a holiday day it was, right? I mean, we did so many things. Trader Sam's was definitely the highlight though. Although Disneyland Hotel in particular gets extra points for being extra festive. Like it was like a 20 out of 10 on the festive scale. It was so cute. All the white Christmas trees, delightful. Candy tree gumdrop forest trees, delightful. And then Trader Sam's was spectacular as always. The drinks are so good. That one was really great too. And then what else? We got so many treats. Dole Whip, fantastic. And then everything from Marceline's. Like I have a backpack full of treats to take home and I'm so excited about it. And yes, I never really got real food even though I said I was going to. But I did go to Jolly Holiday, I just didn't show you. But I got a really good sandwich, which was delightful. But all around a very, very fun day. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays. I hope you guys are doing great, having a good holiday season. And yes, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs>